features. Let's see. Yeah, if another enemy of the target. Yeah, so. Okay. Enemy of my enemy is my friend. Yeah. I got a buddy. So also, I, had... I have a plus 13 to Arcana in history now. Nice. I had to be true to Jack, and I went Eyes of the Runekeeper. He can now read all writing. Very nice. I wanted the fucking Dark Vision, but... Um... Ah, oh, it feels good to get a long rest. Oh yeah, I need to... I now... Get... Third level spells. Yeah, so... While everyone is... Picking and filtering their things... Fanoa. It's in the middle of the night when you kind of just feel a gentle nudge just at the side of your cheek. Open an eye and just see Frankie there. He's just looking at you intently. What are you doing to my baby? He's just focusing on you. And it gets a little awkward to a certain extent, just how much he's just focusing in on you before eventually you swear for the faintest of moments that his eye, which is normally just a wooden carving, genuinely moves. Move your one thing! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, this is this is different from what I was thinking. I was thinking the thing we talked with KTK about in a thing. But <gasps> KTK, KTK, there is KTK. <laughs> Did it happen? Fen, fen, fen chill, fen chill. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's the briefest moment where you feel a far greater connection than usual with Frankie. And he kind of just curls up right into your neck. Just nuzzles right there. Just go to sleep. I'm gonna kill him after this! <laughs> <laughs> but you can't help but feel that there's something more going on with Frankie. But it doesn't feel bad. It just feels like he's a little more alive. Froggle. Did the thing happen? No. The, oh. I, I'm very scared. <laughs> but as morning would come, Ashrin, you would immediately hear a knock on your door about an hour after sunrise, at least to give you a, a valid night's rest. And you would hear uh, Volden immediately speak, and I was like, there's someone at the door who is asking for you. Says they know your group. Who is it? A man in cloak looks rather thin and seems to have taken many lives, if that tells you anything. Uh, give me a minute, I'll get dressed and come downstairs. Don't worry about waking the others yet. As you wish. You hear the footstep kind of leave off. Sorry, the spell that I wanted to take is not showing up on D&D Beyond, and I don't know why. Uh, which spell is it? Big B's hand. It would be Arcane Hand. I think, yeah, it's Arcane Hand. Okay. It's not actually Big B's hand. Yeah, that's just reword. That's just Scanlan. <laughs> okay, that is also not showing up. Really? That should be should a 5th level spell, right correct? Here. It is a 5th level spell. It's just Arcane Hand. I do not have it. Yeah, I'm it's... not getting spells this level, and I don't know how to feel about that. It's PHB, so... Oh, well, DMG, but whatever. It is in there. Is it not a sorcerer spell? Uh... It is not it is a wizard -o. which is weird because when you look up sorcerer spell list bigby's hand which is i guess arcane hand shows up is it in there in the sorcerer spell list yeah on the sorcerer spell list that i've been going off of let's see 
wizard master class. Bigby's hand is artificer, sorcerer, wizard. It sorcerer. lists. Yeah, but here on D and Beyond, it doesn't say so. What the fuck? Yeah. It actually says it's in player's handbook too. That doesn't seem right. No. Okay, we'll figure that out later, though. We'll figure that out later. Okay, I will leave it unchosen for the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so I quickly get dressed and head downstairs. Okay. And as you do head on downstairs, there comes a... Because, like, mm -hmm. skinny cloaked and has killed a lot of people could mean... A lot of things. Multiple mm -hmm. people? But... Upon eventually making your way um, into the foyer and down the grand stairwell, almost instantly the recognition of a man you spent a couple months with, not even actually, I think only like maybe two months at best, with a bit longer hair, a bit more disheveled, not exactly as cleaned up as he probably should be after some time. But Dumar. All right. After hearing that uh, a certain crew and a certain group of members had come to this town and saved it from some sort of pirate ghost catastrophe thing, that's not much we of understanding there. The word pretty well. Yep. And eventually finding the Golden Sun, now been rebranded, and Carnum himself able to at least alert you to the possible whereabouts of Astrid, who apparently went on talking about how she's a noble and what so not. And that at least tracing the lines made your way to this household, where, asking for Ashrin, you were led inside by a rather elderly butler who seems to <coughs> recognize the name and at least openly allowed you to come in until you were either proven correct or proven wrong and murdered on the spot. Upon being led inside into the grand foyer of a, not a mansion per se, but a very well-made home of two floors, uh, two story high and grandiose in size no matter what. You do see Ashrin at the top of the stairwell, or yeah, at the top of the stairs, uh, coming out and actually being here. Good morning. Keeping my cloak up, and <clears throat> though the rumors are true, and not quite Dalmar's voice, but just sort of like distorting it a little bit. <laughs> rumors? You are frightfully easy to track down. And then, well, mental connection. Hey, Atron. Hey. <laughs> Um, the Take others were still off. sleeping. We were at a party last night. And, of course, over mental comms, which is so fucking nice to get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> where were you two days ago? We broke into a mage's house last night. Sounds fun. Uh, well, I mean, if near-death experiences are fun. I think you, you gotta be careful with mages. But you really want to avoid those wards. <clears throat> and other kind of wonderful traps they can have. Hearing non-stop bloops. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah. Well. <laughs> I imagine that from the staff's point of view, this is weird interaction. Because they're just standing there staring at each other. Yeah. Exactly. Like, I just. Uh, after after the, the first, like, and... minor interaction of you guys talking to each other, and then eventually the mental comms kick in, it's just a staring contest. Uh. I like to imagine the body language is still there, but, like. <laughs> Out loud, I'm gonna <laughs> say, uh, well, let me show you to the dining room. We should be having breakfast soon. Uh, we have a king and queen to discuss some things with. 
Um, I don't know when they'll be waking up. Well, I have been busy. Yeah. Oh, as you state as such, Bolden himself, who was in the foyer, just kind of in the corner, just letting you guys interact, uh, would just you both towards the dining hall and would uh, alert the other servants to gather the rest of your party. And as to which you would see uh, already in the dining hall uh, eating breakfast is actually the king and queen themselves. Oh, thank they god. Have kind of very I, early. Like, I don't want to deal with this shit. Yeah, they seem to have gotten up very early to at least enjoy themselves a nice meal. And as the rest of you are each woken up one after another and Fen, you have another furious staring contest with Frankie, who just looks normal again. <laughs> Nothing seems changed or different about him. I don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, him or Frankie? Hey, TK. <laughs> I mean, we're both the same people, so. Mm -hmm. Let's say you have <laughs> to trust the boy. <laughs> but I do. Eventually, each of you guys getting ready and being led into the dining hall itself where each of you are also served a plate of breakfast wherein you see your missing member finally returned after a month and a half of trouble this i want to throw in real quick um i would have spent my first i'm guessing i probably would have been up a lot earlier than most because of the prune juice yep <laughs> i would have retrieved my ring and spent the first hour before everyone got up Doing my ritual to get Lily back. Okay. I, I thought you were gonna say cleaning the ring. Oh, prestidigitation! Yeah. I'm not even going through it myself. <laughs> yeah. Just... Dude, that not even no prestidigitation. You, you would even get about. a like a chirp in your head. It kind of was like, do that again, and I'll burst it inside you. <sighs> Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> you might enjoy it. And then there was a large crystal in there. Jack's never been so full of knowledge Jack. before. <laughs> <laughs> no. We do not use the giant crystal like a dildo. No. Bet. No. Bet. Okay, Ben, Ben, Ben. No. It's a butt plug. Please. Neither. Not flare. <laughs> Don't put it up there. You'll get it stuck. Exactly. Not where that goes. Session 69, baby. Yeah, After Jack took care of his business, Morning and making your way downstairs towards the dinner hall. A little later than everybody else, but still, nonetheless, very close. Where you all see uh, the King, Queen, Ashran, and Dalmar all just sitting there enjoying a breakfast. What the hell? Where'd you come Dalmar. from? Do I have friends? It's been a while. Do I have friends? It's easy hey, to guys. track down. Disturbingly easy. Well, we had to make a name for ourselves, didn't we? Oh, absolutely. And that you did. Well, we don't all have your subtlety. Uh, mm, yeah. <laughs> Just immediately look over to Jack. Gush. <laughs> How Speaking of subtlety, are you going to be subtle about the introductions, or are we going to make it open? Oh, this is Dalmar. He traveled with us for a while. Traveled, or is now traveling? I don't know. Are you back? Yes, I'm back. Good. And Let's it's go. Good. It's good to have you back. How did things so... go? And then, um... Uh, who asked the question, by the way? Of what? Uh, like, uh, about those introductions. Oh, the king of Luma. Whom uh, you don't know of, really. He's just yeah. a man of very fine dress and garb. With a comb-back hairstyle, with a very groomed beard, and elegant clothing of all kinds. He seems to hold himself up to high stature, who is sitting next to uh, the queen. Um. So not too novel. He's totally not a vampire. Also, <laughs> forgive my uh, awkwardness. I, it's been a while since I've had to deal with such pleasantries. Uh, Dalmar, this is the king and queen of Luma. Greetings. Greetings, sovereigns. 
I am Dalmar Damien Voliar. Hmm. Long name. I'm sure it might stand for something quite proud. I don't know that full history. Hmm. A mystery is always history. Oh, God. <laughs> Live, laugh, love. Come, come. <laughs> <laughs> come, enjoy yourselves. We have quite a bit to talk over. To start with, I dare ask if you have retrieved what it is that we discussed about, and if, well, the uninvited guest into his own home proved any issues. I don't know, Jack, did you get the ring? The... He holds up his finger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just want to say, nobody touched that. Yeah, you don't want to touch yeah. that. It's clean now. I no. It's Jack, never no, gonna be clean again. No amount of magic is going to clean eating something in. Yeah. No. Shitting it back out. All right. You realize so... all the food you eat has been in shit. Yes, Volmer. See, He's not but we can wrong. talk about this topic. We can be in denial <laughs> about that. I, I just, yeah, no, queen, or just kind of like listening. Uh, here, my last communication. Yes. So, who I thought was Cassian was not Cassian. He was a man we know as a Bry. Who had some terrifying notions of things he wanted to do with the Astral Shard and had somehow connected to it. I don't know the specifics of it. It's all very confusing. But he did something and released some sort of shadow creatures and we killed him for the and, third fi time. and finally got the Astral Shard out of him and then Saramir showed up saying that he was prevented from entering his own house because of the magic and that he wanted to get the souls out of the astral shard he said that there are two souls in there one of them is Cassian and the other is this Abri and that he wants to try to bring Cassian back to life I don't necessarily want him to experiment on Castian in the way that he has been. Well, I'm afraid this knowledge is far beyond me, but I suppose the important question here to ask is this a bry fellow? Is he proof of danger? Yes. yes. We've killed him three times. Well, apparently you've not killed him even once if he's come back every time. It winks at you. No, no, he's died. We made sure of it. I'm very aware. Souls are trickier than bodies. Oh, you need not talk to me about that. <laughs> we were we were able to convince Theramir to let us go. More accurately, you convinced him to work together between the three of us as a collaboration. Mm -hmm. Don't think he did not instantly go to converse with me. Sure, that uh, he was going to eviscerate Jack to get it out. It does not amaze me in the slightest. Yeah. Uh, did I hear correctly? You swallowed your ring. I mean, he was going to probably kill us anyway. So, did you slot the shard onto your ring, or? By what no. manner would the ring matter? It's inside the ring. Curious. I don't think I've come across that magic in quite some time. Uh. Questions for later. But the question right now is... Do you think you can help with this project that he has proposed to me? Has he been in contact this morning? Oh, absolutely. What did he say? He said that he is going to attempt to retin this creature, this man from the Shard, as well as his apprentice, who is apparently currently keeping him restrained in some way, shape, or form, as to what means I have the slightest ideas, 
and then possibly bring his apprentice back to life. While the apprentice bit is of nothing of concern to us, what is a concern is the rending of the man from the shard and destroying it soon after. If it succeeds in saving his apprentice, well, that's a happy byproduct. But beyond that, well, I'm sure you all know as much as uh, I assume that something of the astral does not deserve to be on the mortal plane. No, I agree with you. I would like to see it destroyed. I think no. that the souls being within the astral shard do pose some sort of threat to it being destroyed, though. Well, I don't know too much of the knowledge myself. However, from the way that Sedermir spoke, and I dare say that I do read people very well, it seems as though it's very possible here and now. It's simply, though, that his ego and his arrogance desires to accomplish his goal before he does such a thing. That would check out. Precisely. So, the question remains if you are going to join in this endeavor, or if you are going to allow him to experiment on his own. Now, I will put my own foot forward and say that I do not doubt his abilities. I do not doubt that he is capable of accomplishing this. But as you seem to be tied to this Pastian, that seems to be his apprentice, I imagine it's a bit more personal for you. It is. I don't believe that Castian should be experimented on. If there is a way to bring him back without the experiments, I'd be open to that. But if there is not, then destroying the shard seems like the next logical approach. Indeed. And at least to my knowledge, in my history and arcane experience, which I'm not going to say is much, but it is enough, when a soul is bound, there is no way to pull it apart unless you do so, well, forcibly. And uh, short of having the help of the gods, if a soul is bound, it is bound. I'm afraid my hands are tied in this situation. I will have to support him in rending the soul from the shard, unless you are more than welcome on attempting to truly destroy it, and both essences that remain within it. Essex, anything? Mm, not wrong. I mean, maybe if you get close enough to the tear, you can talk to him. Uh, the, the good one. Not the bad one. It, it's the astral. It's funky. Will I be able to tell the difference? If that depends on how mingled their souls are. We're, we're talking about two souls, one cup kind of deal here. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> JCK. Fuck you, man. <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> that in there. How deep? <laughs> fuck. Sixty-nine. Oh, yeah. Fuck you, man. Just fuck oh, I you. love yeah. it. That's that wonderful. Great. Um. I'd almost forgotten about that fucking thing. <laughs> oh, Jesus yep. Christ. Everyone so wants I need to focus. And uh, well, actually, I need to. The character needs to understand more. I was gonna uh, try to contact uh, my spirit guide and see if they have any. But actually, I mean, they are talking about souls a lot here. So if you want to like ask yeah. about that, you very much can. Yeah, I'm gonna ask about that real quick. Go ahead and give me a quick wisdom check. So, question: mm -hmm. In racials, it says that I get advantage on all wisdom saving throws does that apply to here this is a check not a saving throw okay yep that is specifically two saving throws okay good question though very good question also that was a save not a check but even then it was a three i am it's, going it's to... the same plus yeah okay the same plus yeah it, 
even after all this time, trying to contact outside of dreams, it's still a struggle. <sighs> Dalmar, why did you pick a character that needed wisdom? Why? Your wisdom rolls are terrible. <laughs> like, notoriously terrible. You say that, but he said he, yeah. he said his, like, uh, rogue rolls are notoriously bad when he first made... Yeah, he's done pretty Dalmar good. Dalmar has the same problem considered. I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Typically, um, it's rare to get a stealth check above a five on the dice with any rogue I make. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Um, and even like my clerics and stuff that I make, uh, wisdom saving throws, you know, but only the important ones. It's yeah. always the important ones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. As you do. I That's about right. am going to look at the king and queen. If we choose to leave, is is Saramir going to let us go? I will have to converse with him quite a bit over that. After all, he seems to think you are the key to it. He didn't elaborate, but he said that you are quite important. I want... I want to bring Castian back. But I don't want Saramir to have a hand in it. I've seen what he did. And... That's not a life for Cassian. That's not what he would have wanted. His mind was broken. That would explain why he wishes to right his wrongs, as he says. The way he and talks he about it, he wants to perform experimentation without the consent of the victim. To make him better. He's not, he doesn't need to be better. He's not trying to revive, he's trying to improve. What does he, he say? Pain. I, I am not one to specifically speak on the subject. Most of you knowing my nature, except for one of you, with a new inclusion, know that I have taken the route that he so speaks. But of course, mine is a curse. My perspective would be skewed. And while I agree with you, life is to be cherished just as much as I agree with him that it would be great to see it developed. What I can promise you is that this will not happen immediately. This will take time. Like planning, this will take collection of materials. And nonetheless, no one ever said that He's going to keep his apprentice's soul. You know, I really like this vampire guy. <laughs> I want his word that he will do nothing more than put the soul back in the body and restore him. I'm afraid that's a conversation you will have to have with him. Then summon him. Make him come. I need to talk to him. He is hard at work right now, and I cannot explain to you how deep he delves into his own work. I had him to arrive here for breakfast in order to join the conversation. Well, and he gestures to an empty chair at the other side of the table. There he is. Would it be worth the rest to try to contact Castian through the shard, see what he wants. I haven't the slightest of ideas. Jack, how many times do we have to fuck with that shard before we realize that it's not a good idea? Essig said that if we take the shard closer to the rip, the tear, whatever, that I might be able to talk to him.
You have another source of information? <laughs> uh, I wonder if I could add him. An old friend <laughs> that we may or may not have killed. And then sure we, revived, we revived. Family, we revived. We did. However, something happened. His family, this ring, and I show them the ring. It's not, I make it not invisible. Mm -hmm. um, it was on him when he passed. And uh, somehow, part of his soul resides in it. He has some information regarding this. I would dearly like to converse with him to see what his opinion is on this matter, but... Dalma, can you...? I was just thinking the same thing. Can we bring him in so that he could communicate over the mental comms? comms with the king and queen as well as us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Can I get a personal one-on-one -on -one link with this Caspian fellow? Not Cassian. Uh, no, the, the ring is Essig. The ring is Essig. Or Essig. Okay. That'd be so, another interesting one. So Dalmar is, or Dalmar is gonna say, okay, be specific. Who are we talking about here? His name is Essig. I don't remember what his last name is. Did we he ever never get gave that? a last name. He never got that, okay. He yeah. openly said to Jack that he has no last name because he doesn't belong to it anymore. Oh yeah, he used yeah. his own. That's why we were making fun of him. Yeah. yeah. Bitch boy. No one loves him. Him. Okay. Him, yes. <laughs> Dalmar was there for that. Dalmar knows yep. exit. <laughs> you remember that. Hold your hand out. Okay. I will try to I am while while Dalmar is doing this, I am trying to like bring Essig into yeah, yeah, the, the, the my mental mind connection, as well. Yes. yes. There is a brief moment, and Dalmar, it's a little bit on the strange side to try and contact a ring through mental connection in some way, shape, or form. But even so, you eventually do hear the voice. Oh. That's new. Can you hear me? I can't. New discoveries every day. Indeed. One moment. And I will... The transferring call. <laughs> <laughs> really, please I'll hold. Please. <laughs> and I will add all eight of us. There's eight, right? Yeah. Ring, king, queen. Yeah. Um, and I will add all eight of us mentally. Group chat. <laughs> group chat. Yes. Everyone is now on, on group comms. And you would instantly hear Essig also repeating, I was like, Oh, that's a lot more minds than I'm used to. Wow. A telepathy <laughs> of some kind? <laughs> Fine. Of some kind. Essig. And you would also right. see the, both Something the king like and queen both look curiously at it. I was like, wow, that's a new way to converse of all things. And you immediately hear Essig reply with, I didn't mean to intrude on your thoughts, Your Majesty. Um, that it's been a while. I'm sure you don't remember me, but not many people do. And you do see in the King Ray design goes, That's a conversation for the future. But now tell me what you know. And he goes on this whole spiel that he told you before about how the whole uh, soul jar, the astral shard, and whatnot, the connections that it may have and whatnot, and including the information that if you were to bring it towards a rift, that you could possibly hijack the rift or the astral instead of the water plane, and maybe make use of it in your favor to communicate with the soul inside the shard itself. And after the whole TED Talk conversation over the shard... <laughs> I have an idea. Hmm? Jack pops into his ring, gets the shard, pops back out. Dalmar! Want to try making a connection to this? <laughs> Does that break? No. no. Does that break? Because if he's able so to make a connection, I know. I'm just saying. I don't. I don't think it breaks if he breaks on his sights. I'm 90% sure. No, because we've gone way out of range. 
That's true. Yes, range right. is yeah. one yeah. mile. Yeah, yes. range is one mile. So that's right. When you're not doing when, when you're not doing the connection, it's sight. When you right. are doing connection, it's a mile. That's right. Yeah. Right. Would he be able to connect to the, a soul in here if he's able to do it in the ring? Theoretically, this is. This I feel like that is a question for another session. This feels like a bad idea. That would be an offer. And as I'm going Jack... to expend another psychic point and. Wait, why not try doing it for free call. with your. Wait, 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 why not try to do it for you with the one on one first? Because he wants them to just join the call right here and now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> as you expend another psychic die to connect yourself towards the chart itself. And just like before, it's awkward to look at an object and go, mental connection. Form there somewhere. There is this is a... how Dalmar gets sucked into the Ash for sure. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, we're all there with him because he's he, this is group chat. Yeah. <laughs> this there is how is... he's about the planes. Total party <laughs> two. There is a momentary pause, and as each of you are kind of waiting for it, you can see the king and queen are very much focused on the shard itself that Jack holds out, kind of like a oh well, you just pulled that out. That's probably it, isn't it? Sort of idea. Before eventually you hear Essig reply before anything else just goes, Oh no. <laughs> and that's where we'll pick up next week. Yes. Fuck! Why did you guys have to try this? Because. <laughs> no. This is awesome. How many times do we have to fuck around and find out before you guys realize it's a bad thing? <laughs> All of the right? times. We have it's fucked coming. around and found out with this Until we all die. Exactly. Because I want to get Castian back. Yeah. He's dead because of me, and I want to get him back. Because otherwise I'd just destroy this fucking yeah, it's thing. It's almost like Samir knew to pull on that heartstring. Mm -hmm. He knew exactly to tug on mm -hmm. that. <laughs> oh. Okay, first session, Dalmar's back. That fucking happens. Holy yeah. shit. We have, we I, have... I have to admit, I did miss the mental comms, they're kind of nice. Oh, I mean, yeah. it's fucking mental, great for y'all. <laughs> mental comms is such a blessing to have back. Mm-hmm. Oh, dearest of gods. I love this chaos. Okay, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Aw, uh, that's gonna be something to come in next week, and we're not taking a break next week! We probably won't take a break the week after that, though, question mark? Or is it the yeah, week after? Yeah, because I think it's Christmas. Is it next week or week after? The week after, so in three weeks. Three yeah, three weeks. weeks is Christmas. Yeah, three weeks is Christmas. Christmas is on a Sunday this year? Yep. Christmas is on a Sunday yeah, this year, is bitches. On a Sunday, so we'll skip Christmas. Then. Odds are, odds are we'll be skipping that one, because odds are we'll all be doing yeah. family shit that day. Oh, yeah. Or, yeah. or yeah, we can have a Christmas one-shot. No. We could no. have a Christmas one-shot, but I seriously doubt everyone's family. gonna show up for it. <laughs> yeah, it'll be like one of you. Yeah. Believe it or not, some of us like our families. If we did the far. Christmas one shot on like the first of January, I'd be totally cool with that, but <laughs> not on Christmas, no. Yeah. yeah, no, not on Christmas, no. That's definitely family time for for everybody. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh took longer to get Dalmar in than I thought it was going to, but hey, he got in at the end and instantly possibly just did something. Instantly derailed the campaign. <laughs> Did it, this Boy. is a perfect time to tell you guys another story. Oh no. Oh no. 